let's talk dietary supplements. The first thing before you take a supplement, you want to ask yourself, is that supplement going to be effective for, for myself in the situation that you want to use it? So will it promote recovery? Will it assist your immune function? Will it assist your performance? The best um, information that's available to check out the effectiveness of the supplement is to jump onto the AIS website and look at the AIS uh, framework, uh, the supplement framework. And it, it lists sports um, supplements based on their level of effectiveness. So there's the groups A, B, C, and D. A being the ones that have good science to support the use of those to say that in situations, certain situations they'll be effective for, from a performance point of view or a recovery point of view. The other big question that you want to ask yourself is, is that supplement safe to take? So from both a health perspective and also from a doping perspective as well. About one in every 15 to 16 supplements that are available will contain substances that may cause a prohibited or an anti-doping rule violation. And age group athletes these days are subject to um, um, WADA code where they may, they may get tested in and around competition. So the, the first thing that you wanna look at is to see if the product has been third party tested. There's a range of companies uh, that are available throughout the world, one of them being Inform Sport. So a product like this, and, and lucky my arms are big enough to hold the container, is this company here, Inform Sport. And now if a product has been batch tested, it will have that logo on the batch. And so they test for all or most prohibited substances that are listed on the WADA prohibited list. So that product, so protein supplement, would be considered a low risk product. And so the two big companies in, that are available in Australia that do third party auditing, uh, Inform Sport, um, and the other big one is called Hasta, and they're an Australian company, and companies have to pay for third-party testing. So it's not something that they go around and do voluntarily, the companies have to pay for that. The other um, option that you've got, if, uh, and just hold on a minute, if, you, if the, the product isn't third-party tested, and you wanna see if the ingredients that are listed on the label um, aren't prohibited, a good option is to jump onto an app, it's called Aegis Shield, and the app is a US based app, but what it does is it does a label read. So if a product that you're interested in taking contains a substance that's on the prohibited list, well then it'll come up on Aegis Shield as being contains a prohibited substance. Now not all Australian products are on this because it is a US based company, but what you can do is send a picture of the product that you're using to AG Shield, and within about 24 to 48 hours, they'll give you what they call a label read. Now, that doesn't mean that it doesn't contain contaminated or prohibited substances because they're just going off what's on the label, so the product could be contaminated. But it is another step by which you've shown some due diligence around the supplements that you're using.